Welcome. It's going to be a great day. Okay, today we're going to continue looking at the new features in ArtRage 5. This is the beta version I'm looking at, so some things may change in the final version. First, we're going to start off looking at the transform tool. It's been changed. It used to be down here on the pod, but now the new custom brush is taking that place. So now you have to go up to the menu to access it and it's full screen and you can only work on the current layer that you select. So you have to select it first. Then this dialog box will pop up and with uniform, you can scale the width and the height. You can specify the degree of rotation. You can flip it horizontal or you can flip it vertical. And here are rotate icons down at the bottom. And also you can free, still freehand distort as you could before. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something else. So I'm gonna close out of this and I'm going to open the perspective grid. So you go to the layout panel, choose perspective grid and select show perspective grid. Then go back to the transform. So you have to have the active pr perspective set open in order for this to work. I want to select the transform tool and now I can select scale with perspective on the uniform transform and you can see it can go backward and forwards into space. And now when I select the free transform tool and select content perspective, you can see that that works very well. And also I can scale with perspective also. Now let's look at the new filters. All the filters have been placed in the edit menu. You go down to filters and you can see you have blur layer. And with this, it gives you a preview, big, a big preview window. You can see the amount of the effect that you want from the filter. And you can also select area of the image that you want to see the filter operate on, but it affects the whole image. Next, we have adjust color layers. And again, we have a big preview window. Next filter we have is add noise. And we're going to talk about color matte a bit more. Before I get to that, you know, also had the warp filter. And I've already done a video showing how to use the warp filter. So now let's talk about remove color mat. So remove color mat allows you to select a single color from the layer that you were using and remove that color from the layer contents. Simple. Now let's take a look at the fill tool. So first you have solid, gradient, and pattern. And those are things you've had before. What's new is all the way down at the bottom here with gap tolerance and slow motion. Now with slow motion, if you set that at 50%, that's a good thing to start off with. What will happen is that as you fill it, it will slowly fill and you can see if there are any gaps and all you have to do is press the escape key to stop it. 
So this way you don't wind up with a whole image filled. And now you can go back and correct that uh, either manually by closing the fill with the art or you can choose this other new option down at the bottom called gap tolerance. So if you boost that up and now fill it, you'll see that it'll stop without going over the gap because it's checking the gaps to see where the flood fill leaks out and it stops it like a dam. Now let's go over to border. Now the border helps you get rid of those uh, little white fuzzy things on the edge of anything or any other color that you may have subtracted. So if your border color is against the same background, it'll look exactly the same as a normal fill. Now let's take a look at the color sampler tool. Let's select that, open the settings, and also want to open the samples window panel. Now here are a couple of new features, a few new features. You have an expand area slider, and this allows you to expand the area of pixels that are going to be selected from the color. So it averages the color in that area rather than from a single pixel. Now the expand area selects area between 1 and 50 pixels, just so you're aware. Also you have the options to check on or off the U, the luminance, saturation, and metallic. So whichever you prefer to use, you have those options, use them all or none or any kind of combination. Oh, and also metallic is only available when canvas lighting is off. This way you can avoid accidentally sampling a non-metallic color. Now let's look at the preset menu. Well, actually, if you've been to the previous videos, we've seen the preset menu before, but I haven't pointed out that the icons are now larger so you can see more clearly what the preset looks like. Also, when you're in docking mode, you can only access the preset panels from the settings menu. So you can open and dock the presets separately also. And as I mentioned, the previews and navigation are larger. So this makes it easier for you to rearrange and rename and to delete any presets. Also, you can delete the default presets. And if you made a mistake or decided you want them back, then just use the restore default content. And voila, back in place. Back in the saddle again. Now let's talk about canvas rotation. As always, you can rotate the canvas by using the canvas positioner. But now you can go to the edit menu and rotate the canvas from here. 90 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees counterclockwise. No, they say anti-clockwise here. I'm not anti-clockwise, I, I like it. And rotate 180 degrees. Now let's look at the layers panel. Now even though I've been using the layers panel, I haven't shown you that also, if you click here and go down to large layer previews, you can also see better what you have on your layers here. So this is a pretty nice option. Saves you a lot of squinting. So that's going to complete part two of our look at the new features in ArtRage 5. So as I said, right now, this is a beta version I'm looking at. So if there are any major changes when the final release comes out, I'll revisit some of these topics. Some of them I'll revisit anyway because I want to do more expanded uh, tutorial on what's there. That's all for today. Please like, share, and comment. I'd definitely like to hear from you. And please subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. Remember, just create. Bye.